Good morning, Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Today is Tuesday, September 13, 2022. Happy birthday to Scarlett. Happy birthday. birthday. Please stop by the office and pick up your birthday pencil. Our outside activities forecast is partly cloudy skies this morning will become overcast during the afternoon height 48 Fahrenheit winds west southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour lunch choices today are beef taco or corn dog Ooh, it's taco Tuesday all right this week's life skill is curiosity. Curiosity is wanting to know or learn about our world. And I want to give a shout out to Mr. Al in Miss Sonny's room. He lets me be curious all the time and ask questions about my sign language words. He's really the master of sign language and I appreciate his patience. You are a life skill leader and a rock star, Mr. Al. Thank you. So our Spanish and sign language for today is how to say Seahawk. Did you notice that I added a little part to the morning introduction? In Spanish, for Seahawk, the bird, we say halcón marino. Say it with me. Halcón marino. And in Spanish, for pirate, we say pirata. 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 I'm saying it right? Okay. In sign language, for to represent that the Seahawk is a pirate, we're going to use our hands, we're going to cup them together, make a boat, kind of like this, and just kind of move it a little bit. Let it float two times. Boat. And then we're going to take our right hand and cover our eye like a pirate patch. So, pirate. Seahawk. Pirata. Um, if any of you out there watching know how Myrtle Beach became the Seahawks, Please let one of us know. We would love to share that story with our boys and girls sometime. What's happening? The Charleston Wrap Fundraiser. It's a great fundraiser for our school. Kids who sell items get prizes. Singing Seahawks started this morning with the fifth grade. And fourth grade, you'll go Thursday morning from 7.05 to 7.35 a.m. Check in with your teacher, get a hall pass, and head down to Miss Nutter's room. Again, interims are coming home Friday. Make sure that if you don't like what you see, that you know this is a check-in, and so it's a time to turn in those missing assignments, to correct any papers that you're allowed to correct, and to make sure you take home your notebook and study a little bit extra so you can bring up anything you don't like. Unfortunately, boys and girls, it is time for me to spill the tea. We are having some issues in the bathroom, some really terrible issues in the bathroom, and we need to have a serious talk. There are people clogging the toilets with toilet paper, putting toilet paper in the little metal trash cans to the side and overflowing it. Toilet paper goes in the toilet. If you go to the bathroom and there is already something in the toilet, flush it before you use it so that we don't clog up. And I honestly can't even believe that I'm saying this. Last week, two times in one day on the bathroom's diagonal from the library, we had someone poop in the sink. Twice in one day. And if you see something that's not right in that bathroom, you need to say something. Because we don't want to live in filth. If it continues to happen, and I can pinpoint it to third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. There will be consequences. Maybe we'll take each class and we clean the bathroom. Or perhaps if it's a whole grade level, we think about, well, we don't need a third grade play. So I don't want to take anything from anybody. I want us to live happily. But my friends, Miss Sherry Monday, should not be cleaning things like that out of the sink. That is not nice. All right, boys and girls, I'm Miss Lee. And my name is Miguel. Thanks for watching. Have a terrific Tuesday, Seahawks.